Hello everyone and welcome to the screencast of my game called The Legend of the Sword for the course DDDD23 Computer Game and Design at the Shopping University. So this is the start screen of my game. It has three buttons, start, credits and quit. In credits it basically says that uh, this game is created by me. And on clicking start, it spawns you at the first level. So as you can see on the top that you are Greystone and you have your health and your mana and there's a part called Hunger as well. Uh, and on the right top side you can see that the, you can press C to press controls. C controls. Uh, so you can press M to open the menu or to choose a skill, Q to use a skill, E to interact with the environment, B to save the button, save the game and C to view controls and WASD to move around. There are other controls as well but these are kind of common. For example, uh, I can close this by pressing C again. For example, by pressing space you can jump and if you press the right left button of your mouse then you can hit and if you press it twice then you can hit a different attack and if you press it a few more times then it's kind of a combo attack. So a player needs to explore uh, around and move around, look at the environment, right? And it says that by pressing M, I can open the menu. So this is the menu currently, and I'm on level one. I have one HP and MP. My strength and defense are pretty low, and my next level would be at 20 experience. I also have these three buttons here. So this is my inventory. Uh, which has a bunch of items and when you hover over it then you can see that this one is a green plant this one is a yellow plant this one is berry this one is raw meat this one is cooked meat and this one is po this one is a mana potion this one is a healing potion so a blueberry pie and this one is an iron ingot but i don't have any one of them so maybe i can craft them so if i go to the crafting screen then i can craft potion food and leather items and i have a uh, crafting level as well but and when you hover over each icon then you kind of know which uh, things you need to craft this item for example a mana potion requires three green plants a health potion requires one green plant and two yellow plants and so on and in the last I have the skill tree for uh, when since my level is one when it goes up to two and three I will have some skill points and then I can choose one of them and each things, uh, each button does a thing like the name suggests. For example, max health will increase your max health a little bit, and max mana will do that for mana, and it will attack, increase your attack and defense, and so on. So let's get playing. So as I move on in the game, uh, I can see that there's a village which is burning and maybe someone who is moving around oh, and that's an enemy and he will attack at the moment he sees you so I can fight and, and yeah I killed him and as you can see that on the top left my level went up to 3 and if I check the menu again now I have level 3 and uh, my strength and my defense has increased my HPMP increased a little bit but I don't have any items now so maybe I'll have to look around and explore the area a little bit but these all the houses are burning so maybe I have to go to this house since this one is not burning and there's a man here lying so maybe I can press E to interact and if I press E again then he requires a health potion Maybe I, I don't want to do it, so I can just decline him and like, I will die without it, please help me. Like, okay, I can walk away, or maybe I can just take this quest on. So, when I come back, he doesn't ask the same question again, and he's like, will you bring me one? And, I can accept it. And so, when I press the menu again, and I check for health potion, I don't have a health potion. And for crafting a health potion, I need uh, two yellow plants and one green plant. Okay, so now the player has to explore the area a little bit and maybe go over to each plant and press E. So this one is not a green plant. 
this one here looks like a yellow or a green plant something so if I go close and I press E then I can see a bar which is fulfilling that means we are harvesting the plant and if I check my menu again now I have one green plant so I, I have to maybe I can harvest this plant as well and it looks a bit yellow so maybe it's the yellow plant and now I check the menu again now I have one yellow plant and one green plant and as you can see this is the hunger bar and uh, this is something which makes it more realistic as the player gets hungrier with time so and he you can eat uh, to reduce your hunger basically so uh, I have to get like a cooked meat or a blueberry pie and for a cooked meat I need a raw meat and for a blueberry pie I need two blueberries okay uh, so maybe I have to look around for that as well and I can use this also let's harvest this and these plants they despawn after 45 seconds so you can either wait for it or you can explore more to get more plants and if I maybe I can go uh, to the back and check a little bit so I can get more plants or something else yeah there are more plants here and I can see that there's a deer here as well maybe I can harvest a deer if I can kill it yeah I can kill the deer and if I press E ah, if I press E then I can harvest the deer and if I check my menu again now I have one raw meat and I have two yeah, three yellow plants and two green plants and I have five berries so uh, this game is made in such a way that when you harvest a plant then you get you have a 35% chance to get a berry so now I can actually craft a cooked meat and my crafting level goes up and I can also craft a healing potion but I cannot craft a mana potion I can craft a blueberry pie maybe two of them yeah but I cannot cast anything yeah. create anything else sorry uh, so when I go and check here then I have one raw meat when cooked meat when I click on it then my hunger almost gets up it kind of fills your hunger basically cooked meat is like very nutritious for you <laughs> and if I use the blueberry pie then it's kind of full so now since we have the healing potion then we can go and give it to the old man It, I can decline if I don't want to give it to him and if I accept then he will automatically take the and give me gold and give me message that they have destroyed the whole village and stole the power of the legendary sword they went to the they came from the uh, top of the mountain from portal and uh, he and I am the only one who can save Old. And if I would try to interact with him again, then he just says that trying to thank you again and wish you your journey. So that means that I have to go to the top of the mountain. And since I'm expecting more enemies, maybe I can heal myself a little bit. So if I press R, then I have these three options either to use a fireball, a nice spike, or to heal. So I'll choose heal, press R again, and then press Q and it will increase my health a little bit and now, now my health is a little bit also since I am on level 3 so I have two skill points so I can choose one of the option so I will choose to increase my max health a little bit so as you can see it increased a little bit even though the health was full 
and I will increase my attack so currently my strength is 1.064 which is pretty less I think so when I press on attack and uh, sorry check it again then it's 1.264 so it increased by 0.2 which I think is fine so let's go to the top of the mountain so there are two ways I'm gonna take this one so this game is based upon the player exploring his skills and kind of leveling up a little bit so that when the opportunity comes he can fight and defeat the enemies properly uh, so I can see that this is a dead end but there's a chest and I can open it and when I open it then it seems like it gave me gold so I can check it and I have 600 gold now this can be the game currency which can be used for the game to buy and sell some kind of stuff maybe and um, I can use heal again to complete my health. Yeah. Nah, and this phase is pretty long, so I can take a shortcut between of the trees since I know where to go. So this path seemed to lead me to the top of the mountain. And as you can see that there are a bunch of enemies patrolling the area. These are AIs and I can s when they come in range then I can see their health bars and when they see me they start to attack me. But my level is pretty high and this guy looks like the boss. So I, I think he has like a bunch of skills also. So I think I need to use my heal again. And I can change, press R and choose I spike and press R again and use that skill on these guys. Yeah. So that is pretty cool. And I can fight this guy again. Now since I'm a level 6 player that he got defeated pretty easily. And now I can see that there's a portal that spawned over here. And there is a chest also so when I click yeah, the this open and I think it gave me more gold and if I go to the portal and if I press E then voila we completed the level and congratulations on team the first level this level is a work in progress but you are free to explore yeah. so that was the first level and uh, it went on pretty quick went by pretty quick since I know almost what to do but as a new player it will take a bit of time and in this level you can explore a little bit look around you can see that an enemy is running far away you can fight it and you can go and maybe look how this level looks but uh, this is about it yeah and when you press escape then these three options won't work currently since they are not implemented, but you can quit the game and this will work. Yeah. So, thank you for watching.